Now I am going to show you how to do the deep maintenance for the print head. So usually when the this is how you see you cannot don't force to push the print head. Okay, so usually how I do the release the print head is I press the head cleaning. Once the once the print head is moving already, I switch off the main power. So this is how I move the print head. Okay, first step is you need to take this one out first. To release this one first then I push this one to the center I get a screw take out all the damper I take all the damper sometimes it's a bit harder especially first time so you take out all the damper take all the damper usually I will take the three three damper I use a rubber band to tie it I tie three okay then another three I take out also Yep, they have the this one. Then I also use a rubber band to tie it. Okay, so this is the uh, first thing I need to do. Uh, now I show you the method how to take out the damper holder. Usually here and here at the back there is a grip there. So usually I take the Allen key, I just put at the back. I just do. Uh, this way to pull out one way open already then the other way I just this way to take out the key okay once it's released already I take out the damper holder this is how I take out the damper holder so second part what you need to take out is uh, because I need to release the ca the cable holder so here got two uh, three section one two three you need to push to to unlock one two three so maybe as a first time bit difficult so you need to uh, do now this is how i take out the key for the cable okay so this is how i take out the two parts okay after you take out the damper holder and the cable holder you get a magnetic screwdriver is uh, advisable so you need to take out these three screw you need to take out these three screw okay, one screw two screw three screw Okay, so now three, these three screws they are already. Now this is how we take out the whole print head. This is how we take out the whole print head. Yeah, a lot of people will surprise when first I take out the print head. So you see, once I turn this one over, you can see how dirty the print head. Okay, so you can see all the print head frame there is a dirt there. So why this happen is because when every time we do the head cleaning, when we do head cleaning, the wiper from here they will slide like our car wiper. They will slide all the dirt go to the surrounding. If you don't clean it, here will collect collect the dust until too thick. When the dust around the frame is too thick, when we do the printing, the dirt will scratch our printing. The uh, I mean the dust thickness will scratch our uh, print head cleaning. So this is now I uh, show you how I clean. I will get a uh, alcohol pads. I will get alcohol pads. Then I need to clean the surround. I need to clean the surround. When you clean already, you can see the shining uh, aluminum frame back lah. You see. Ah. So slowly make the surround. Yeah, as a uh, first time when you do this, sure you will uh, feel fear or what lah. Never mind, practice, make perfect lah. 
so easy I like to clean all the surround this one yeah see okay then the focus question people will ask me can we touch the this one the print head pattern uh, for me personally it's not so advisable you do it you see but if let's say you you want uh, to do it you must be careful lah. so now you see all the surround frame is already clean if let's say you really want to clean uh, the hip pattern uh, please make sure be careful so usually I will still using the alcohol pad I will still using the alcohol pad so you can see the print head line it's a vertical line you can see the, the when you open yourself you can see everything so I use the alcohol pad I just from top I squeeze down to bottom a few times this one also can help you to to make sure the pin head don't clock so you can see the dirt's there after everything is done now we put back all the print head so is how you take out then this is how you put back so you need to get the screw the three screw one screw two make sure you all tighten ah. okay the third the final screw okay done okay we slip in back the damper holder press push down until got click okay then we make sure the cable put in the correct way back the cable back uh, then we still put the holder back the clip holder yep everything make sure it got click sound yep nah, done so now everything is perfect already so now we just install back our damper yeah after you fix the print head back so now we need to install back the all the color damper yep one by one remember the sequence color then another three color After you install all the damper, usually I push to the right hand side then. Then you must arrange nicely the tube back to the location. Okay, one by one. Make sure everything is put back in the same location. Okay, then put back the this one, the plastic stripe to make the tube holes nicely. Yeah. After assemble all the parts back to the or original place, okay, you just do one time head cleaning. Press this icon for five seconds. The ink drop icon. Ah, this is the way how we do the head cleaning. Once the head cleaning finish, then you do one nozzle check to check the condition. If everything perfect, then you can continue to do your printing job.